Welcome everyone, another episode of the Talking with Sirius. And today I have uh, my friend uh, Tracy King uh, from Brooklyn. Hi, Tracy. And uh, today we'll talk about a very interesting topic, I think, because I had many guests uh, of the Web3 world, Casey Vito, another debit, uh, and other people that probably now I can't remember. But today we want to make a different one. Otherwise, it's always the same, uh, same stuff. So welcome, welcome, Tracy. How are you? Oh, thank you for having me. I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing well. It has been a kind of tough day, but uh, let's say that I'm I'm close to the end of this uh, of this day. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice, nice. And hey, Perduma, Perduma is super supportive. Yeah, thank you, hey, Perduma. Venkata, there we go, there we go. Are you, I hope that you are ready with your tomato, tomatoes or eggs. <laughs> Virtual, of course. <laughs> After waiting for so long, so people are really, are really waiting. Very, okay, so yeah, this will be. This would be interesting. Okay, so but before talking bad about Web3, uh, Tracy, would you like to introduce yourself? We, I think we have been connected because of Twitter spaces. I want yeah. to say that I'm not addicted to Twitter spaces and I can stop whenever I want. <laughs> but we have done we have done like, we have done some Twitter space together. She's also an amazing co-host. I highly recommend her if you need someone for a Web3 Twitter space. So yes, uh, Tracy, something about you. Yeah, yeah um, also addicted to Twitter spaces. It's a big problem. Um, so I have been in tech for about 12 years, right after I graduated from college. Um, I would just went to a, a school called UC Santa Cruz, and that was the little town below San Francisco. I was a you know 21 year old, didn't really know what I wanted to do. Uh, so I started working at different startups, um, decided I wanted to become a developer about four years later. So I transitioned and I've been a front end engineer for about eight years now. Um, and I learned about Web3 in the fall, um, which is when I started getting involved in a community level, talking um, you know, with great people like you, just learning more um, and just getting immersed in the space. Um, I also do community work for an awesome organization called Underdog Devs that you can find on Twitter um, that helps with formerly incarcerated software engineers. So please check them out. Um, and yeah, that's a little bit about me. Nice, nice. And if we have some minutes, I also would like to talk uh, about this Underdogs uh, project. I think it was uh, Glenn, the name, his name, the name of the founder or co-founder. You are like friends, you have done something. But uh, yes. Okay, okay. But so, um, okay. So let's start with some Web3 questions. Uh, so uh, what is uh, something that, that you like about Web3? So let's start with the good parts. I'm sorry for the people who are waiting. Uh, since see already people with eggs uh, in, the, in the comments. <laughs> so, so, so we are sorry, but uh, yeah, we try to you. <laughs> yeah, I loved how it empowers or it aims to empower individuals that, um, that didn't have these avenues before. So artists that are able to sell their art, whether it's um, something like a graphic or a video or um, music, a song. Um, now people are finally able to make money that weren't before. They have an avenue to advertise themselves in that way. Um, and I'll, I'll leave it that. That's one thing that I like. Nice, nice. And uh, uh, I may, usually I made this, uh, this question when I start also that with the space. I think I already made answer to this, but since we are in a live stream, it's a, it's a different sensation. Hey, so hi, so it's a, it's a great Web3 supporter. He's, uh, he's in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so what is Web3 for you and what is not? Yeah, so I think... For me, Web3 is very values-based, um, just in the sense that we are, with people who are in Web3 are interested in empowering individuals um, to give them a choice to you know, not be a product, to be able to be on the internet with anonymity. Um, it also gives people the choice using crypto to be bankless um, or gives people the opportunity to sell their art in a new way. Um, so it's all about choice and empowerment for me. Um, I There are, I guess, more concrete things that kind of toe the line that we're not really sure 
what is is the metaverse web three um in some senses it is and in some senses it's just another thing on the internet that's developing um so so that's how i think about what web three is um and then web three is definitely not a lot of things um i guess um yeah my my example of the metaverse is one of those that toes the line but there's also you know um a lot of web two apps that you know use crypto but is that really web three right like is a is a crypto exchange platform um really a web three product or is it just a place where you buy crypto uh i think that's an interesting question we don't have the answer to it um that's you know very subjective Thank you, and uh, Padumna, this, uh, this is a great perspective, uh, and also, also for me, of course. Uh, and now I would, to, I would like to ask you something else, because uh, I, I started creating content about Web3, it was about three or four months ago, but uh, I don't want to say every single time, but usually, let's say, one out of two, I get someone who says, like, oh, this is all, this is all a scam, or this is all, uh, what, are you, what, what are you creating content for, like, you are working for the enemy? Or something else, like if I, I don't know, there was some uh, some some secret organization that I'm working for them. Instead, <laughs> instead, I'm literally on the on the Ethereum docs. So, okay. So, so what do you think is something that people maybe I don't know, miss, they maybe don't understand, or maybe why they criticize Web three so so much? Because I've seen some people they they take this. Uh, Personally, for example, we made uh, this uh, the promo for this uh, live stream. Someone said like, uh, "Yeah, it's bad for real." Like uh, with also resharing. So, why do you think uh, is this happening? Yeah. So, I mean, just speaking anecdotally, um, I before I even knew anything about Web three, my interpretation of crypto was, you know, Bitcoin, and what I knew about Bitcoin was that Silk Road incident, maybe people remember from around 2012 and 2013, I didn't know the history of Bitcoin. I just knew that there were, uh, there was an illegal marketplace called Silk Road um, and that had been used for, you know, a lot of shady stuff that shouldn't have been happening. Um, whether that was selling drugs or um, human trafficking or really just, it's not good PR, right? Um, so that was how people were starting to think of Bitcoin because it got a lot of press um, in that era. And so why would you be particularly interested in Bitcoin other than to be an investor, which is not something that, you know, I, I'm i interested in investing. I don't know a, lot of, a whole lot about it, um, but, you know, so in that sense, all you're thinking about is um, all of these, you're either, it's either people who are interested in getting more money or people who are interested in doing illegal things online. And so until you meet somebody who is talking about all of the other things um, that is going on with Web3 and is going on with crypto and how people can be empowered, um, you know, for example, there are women in Afghanistan who take um, who've taken Bitcoin instead of um, traditional currency um, because they couldn't have their own bank accounts and use that money to divorce their abusive husbands. And then there's a huge movement in Latin America that I know people are um, critical of, uh, but at the same time, I've seen interviews from people who have suffered so much at the hands of their government from, you know, whether it's devaluation or hyperinflation or having their bank assets just seized from the government because it's corrupt. These people obviously want a, a different way to um, be able to operate economically. Um, and so until you really dive in and see these things happening, um, all you're really thinking about is um, you have this, just this interpretation of crypto bros, right? Um, it's just a bunch of bros that want to make a bunch of money. Um, and that's, you know, a little bit of women's erasure for you. It doesn't consider all of the, all of the women and non-binary folks in the space. Um, but yeah, so I think it's got really bad PR. 
Yeah, absolutely. Just let me say something super fast that uh, Suhail, for example, is from Afghanistan. He's also a great Web3 content creator. So, awesome. and, also, and also Samina, uh, Samina Codes. Uh, for, you know her, yes. We, yeah. we, met, we, met, we met the spaces together. Uh, yeah, me, Marcos. Uh, yeah. Nice, nice. I think that you are getting very, very solid points. Uh, so, it's um, so it, basically it's about some someone who just had, uh, I think I, I I, I don't want to say that I was one of them, but for me, Web3, uh, in the, the very beginning, it was just the crypto. So like just Bitcoin and Ethereum. This was like some, some years ago. So it's, uh, so I don't, I don't know. It has not been presented in the best, uh, in the best possible way. So maybe that's it. Yes. And now I would like to, um, to ask you something because uh, I made, uh, I made basically two tweets uh, uh, some, some weeks ago. One was like, uh, what you really like about Web3, and one in and one in was uh, what you, you don't you like, and and the one when I asked the what you don't like got like way way more engagement because we know <laughs> when we talk about better stuff uh, we get, and I remember that the most uh, the people the, uh, there were there were also people uh, in the Web3 world like Casey and other people Vito. And they say that the thing they like the least, uh, they don't like about Web3 is like the presence of scams, uh, people trying to steal your uh, your password, your passphrase. Uh, so there, are, there is a lot of scam. So yeah. I am I am old enough that I remember like the 90s in, in the, the internet, like when you click a, a, a link, you I don't know, you install ever some something which like deletes your address, something which was uh, very crazy. So for me, I'm not kind of new on scams uh, on internet, but uh, from what your point of view um, about the uh, about the scams of Web3, what do what can you can you say what can you say about that? About yeah, that? I mean, of course, it's super sad to see these things continue to happen. We just saw another uh, six hundred million in Ether scam, I think, in the last 24, 48 hours, uh, and. This is kind of a catch-22, right? Because Web3 is all open source. And so people uh, like that are tech technologically proficient enough to be hackers can very easily see what the code is and very easily see how they can exploit um, issues in the code. Uh, I know that that happened. Well, I know that that was speculation about what happened with the wormhole incident and in that there was even a PR open to fix a bug that just hadn't been merged yet. Yeah. So the speculation was, did someone see that and say, oh, I can capitalize on that. And, and since they haven't merged it, steal a bunch of money. Uh, so you, on the one hand, we're keeping everything open source and that's awesome. Um, and then on the other hand, we're exposing ourselves. So that's a tough thing to do. Are, are a tough thing to try and, you know, how do we how do we protect ourselves and also share uh, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but another thing is that it's new technology, um, so we don't have as much knowledge about how we can be more secure. I know Vitalik has spoken on this about side chains and how those are. Um, those are going to be the most exploited types of uh, technological, um, the weakest points in the technology. And that's that's been true. Uh, that's what we're saying in all these scams is that these side chains, the, the bridges um, are what are being ex exploited. Um, can't tell people to stop messing around with that technology, but I, you know, when you're, developing and you have some power over people's money i mean you have to make sure that that code is triple tested right and i i don't hang out hang around a lot of DeFi developers so i'm not one to say oh they're not doing enough um i i would i can't say that uh but you know what what can we do i i wish that there was more at the same time anywhere there's money you're going to see people trying to get some for themselves whether that's a multi-level marketing scheme whether someone's trying to rob a bank whether you get those calls from the irs saying that you have to send them money immediately um we see that everywhere where money exists 
Yes, and I think that that game, it was uh, Axie Infinity, I think. Uh, are we talking about that? Uh, that game, I think. Uh, and it was caused by mismanagement of, of our verification code. Uh, honestly, I, I don't know this, but maybe, maybe this is also interesting. Maybe I'm thinking also about, you know, create a thread of all the scams of Web3, maybe one day okay. I'll create that. Uh, I think uh, there, there will be more than 20, than 25. Yeah. I also seen the the Solana one. Uh, it was like an error in the code. Uh, like uh, they used like a double verification. It was like yeah. a, 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 a trick with a Boolean, I think, something like that. Yeah, and the human error one is, I think uh, that's, that's a good point. That's the same thing that happened with OpenSea, in my opinion, right? Because that was just phishing. So technically, you know, that was what, just an email that people got and they clicked on the link and that's what happened. Um, that's my interpretation of it, but um, yeah, yeah, the, that yeah. Happens everywhere. Yeah, the problem is that when something like that happens, uh, some people they I don't know they <laughs> they wake up and they say, oh, do you see that there is uh, yeah. everything is a scam? I don't know, and then they go back to sleep or something yeah. like that. So yeah. it's, <laughs> this yeah. is my idea. I don't know. <laughs> Now, before jumping on the next question, this is a question that I already asked uh, to Tracy, but let's ask her: <laughs> Is King your real last name? <laughs> This is not a uh, this is not a joke. I was sure that we had something like that, or is that a title, or, or, or maybe you are a king? I don't know. I don't know. Actually, <laughs> it's it's an okay story. It's a um, my aunts did some digging because my paternal grandfather was adopted, so technically, King is an adopted name. Um, so his the woman that gave birth to him, his birth mother. Her name was Nida Royal. So Nida Royal gave birth to him and then he was adopted by Woodfin in Tracy King. <laughs> and, and so that's just my last name. Um, yeah, legally speaking. For real. For real. <laughs> no, no. And I like to make these live streams because yes, we, we can talk for Web3 also for three hours, but I also like to, to put some some personal stuff in the meanwhile. So it's, uh, thank you because I was also curious. I was also curious about, about this. And yes, yes. So yes. Now, for example, when I started to, to learn about Web3, because basically I'm learning and sharing, learning and sharing. I'm not an expert yet, but I'll stay in the Web3 world for many, many years, probably decades. I don't know if we will be still there. But uh, one of the first things uh, that uh, I've been wondering why is that, okay, how can I use that? Or is there something that maybe Web3 is not w even worth to check? Because uh, I don't think this is the solution to all the humanity problems. Uh, maybe in the future, people will find some, some maybe, maybe also some ways that we don't even know now. But uh, is there, in, in, in your opinion, some some fields that you think that uh, Web3 is basically useless or maybe it's used, uh, you have noticed that it, it has been used in uh, in the wrong way. I put this in quotes. I think one thing that really gives me pause is um, having established politicians that, um, you know, it, and I'm speaking in US-based uh, politicians that are looking to Um, make a presidential run, get involved in Web3 communities. I saw Andrew Yang. Um, he was getting involved with Andrew Wang, who is a popular uh, Web3 person on Twitter. Um, and they were talking about how, you know, we're going to eradicate poverty with Web3. Um, and I, you know, I gave them the benefit of the doubt and listened in on their um, space. But I don't think that you're going to be able to use Web3 technology to eradicate poverty in the United States, right? Um, you know, in North Carolina, you've got a fourth of the children there starving. What are you going to do about that? Um, what are you going to do about racial inequity um, and just all of the issues? That's not... So to me, uh, using Web3... Is for someone like Andrew Yang is a way to mobilize a lot of people um, and get them in his corner uh, to, you know, canvas for him um, in some ways. Because I don't see what he what value he has to add. I can see why people might want um, 
you know, crypto sympathizers um, inside of the House and the Senate where people are making laws, uh, because if we can't use crypto in some places, then, you know, we get you know, kind of cut off at the knee and then we're not able to do um, accomplish some of the goals that we have um, in Web3. So, you know, I can see that side of it, but I can't see all these lofty ideals from politicians who um, I'll just, you know, speaking for the U.S., just say they're going to do stuff and don't do it. <laughs> so um, I don't I don't love that. Nice, nice. Um, thank you. Thank you. I just made a poll like uh, if you if you like uh, or not Web3. So let's see if we have uh, attracted <laughs> someone. For now, we are getting more more yes than yes than, than no. Yes. Um, Okay, uh, Tracy, I have another question about Web3 and social media because uh, I've also heard, like, I don't know, Web3 is just a bunch of people on Twitter creating some stuff. I think it's a, a bit more than this. So <laughs> I'm honored that the people think that I am Web3. <laughs> I don't think that I am. I am. <laughs> but, but I've seen some people that they basically they say, like, uh, Web3 exists uh, because there are social media, because there is a Twitter and I don't know, some other stuff. Also now YouTube is Web3. So it's, um, so what do you think about uh, this? Or maybe is there something that maybe you don't like uh, or not? I also have something that I'll say after. So I can complain uh, in my own live stream. That's amazing. I guess I don't understand the question. So you're saying... No, I mean... I think it's just a social media thing? Yeah, I mean, uh, like Web3 and social media, do you think that... Uh, Uh, some people are they will say that uh, like web3 exists because of social media so maybe they associate maybe a web3 with which is bad because it's just basically just to say this in simple terms like just it exists because it's uh, promoted on social media so that's well it. does it exist because it was promoted on social media i mean it exists because of the white papers that were written, you know, to introduce cryptocurrency. Um, and I don't have time to read the white paper. I don't have time. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm sure that it was popularized. I mean, that's where a lot of us are learning about it, right? Um, but no, I mean, it's it's much deeper than that. And you and I both know that because we spend a lot of time um, on, on our own researching it. Um, and there's a ton of Web3 companies that people haven't heard of I haven't heard of that are really, you know, in the weeds and doing the work. Um, and, you know, for to say it's on, to say that Web3 is just a social media hype when there are these whole communities, you know, built around um, alternatives to AWS hosting um, and Microsoft Azure hosting, like the graph is um, doing is, you know, it just kind of, gets you caught red-handed that you're not really doing the research, <laughs> right? So. Yes, and I think, for example, uh, sometimes I, I have to admit that sometimes this happens. I don't know, like uh, there was like then or, or there is a new JavaScript framework. Everybody makes a tweet for a week. Uh, And uh, everybody creates a full crash, full crash course. Everybody becomes an expert. And this is something that I've seen uh, multiple times. I've also made uh, some, some articles about Deno, for example. Mm -hmm. I admit that. But uh, this seems uh, something which is a bit different this time. So I don't know if you agree with this. But for me, this is something that now maybe we have in increased the awareness. I feel I want to not, not really a, a very early adopter, but now I'm... Um, I've 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 read and I've uh, I've learned something, so yeah. So this, so maybe what I don't like about the social media and Web 3 is that people I don't know the, some uh, uh, I would say that we basically we are all learning. Mm -hmm. uh, so some I don't know if I just make a, I don't know a hello world <laughs> in that I'm I I would not claim myself as an expert, especially if I have uh, many followers because people can get confused. I, I keep repeating this that I just get it started. People confuse yeah. maybe a number of followers with my, the knowledge. Uh, this is a mistake that I've seen this multiple times. So this is something that maybe <laughs> I don't like. I would never claim. I, mean, I think I'll never claim me an expert in any field, even Docker or other stuff. Even if I'm the Docker captain, I never, I never say this. 
but uh, yes hello yudai yudai is one of my favorite moderators just came and say like and subscribe it's amazing yudai welcome welcome we are fighting time zones because of all these the different time zones yes nice nice by the way if you have any questions if you want to throw any egg if you have uh, anything that uh, I don't know, even I, I, I can say that even if you are a web creator enthusiast, you don't have to like everything about right. web three. So it's uh, there are some parts, maybe you are more interested. For example, I'm more interested to the development part, uh, a bit less into the crypto investment for now, because I think they are totally, totally different, different fields. I got people in DMs like asking for finan financial advices yeah. basically every single day, <laughs> I can say. Yeah. And, uh, and yes, so let me show this. I think many people underestimate the importance that the centralization, especially the cutting off of the middlemen and regulators with currency has. What I don't like about Web3 is the name. I, I, I think one of the things I hate, <laughs> I hate more, more because Web3 sounds like, I don't know, there is a new framework you should up right. update, update your, your, your PC. Right, and, because you're, we're supplementing the web in the sense. Mm -hmm. um, and you don't, it, yeah, it's almost like exactly like you're saying, like if you don't have the newest version, you're on the old version and you're missing out on all these features. But that's not really the case. Yes, I think we could have chosen uh, some better name, like, I don't know, decentralization development, blockchain development, I don't know, something, something like that. But uh, it seems that uh, this is uh, something and... Uh, but yes, uh, hey Aldrin, how are you? Yes, yeah, Tracy. Something is. Uh, I wanted to ask you something about uh, what about you and uh, I don't know content creation. Do you make videos? What kind of uh, content do you create? Because we have been connected uh, not for so long. Just this is a personal question. While we also have some good good ones. Uh, yeah, I mean, I I'm looking to get into creating Web three content, but my Web three job search sucks up all my time. So once I finally, um, finally, you know, land that perfect role, um, I'll be able to start creating more content. But for now, I mean, I've, I've written a couple articles that you can find on medium and, um, you know, the practical dev, but they're web two centric, um, on some other, um, you know, they, they were JavaScript based, um, one of them was on color theory. I'm a big color theory nerd because I'm a front end engineer. Um, but I I would love to get into doing more um, Web3 stuff. Uh, I do a lot of spaces, as you know. I, I really love spaces. Um, hoping I was getting together with uh, some people hoping to do a Web3 related podcast, but that's TVD. Um, maybe, maybe that'll come out sooner than later, but yeah. Interesting. So, interesting, interesting. Or maybe, or maybe you can stop sleeping. That could be also be a yeah, solution. Yeah, exactly. If you have any tips about <laughs> how to stop sleeping, um, let me know. Sleeping. <laughs> I'm also waiting for this kind of kind of answer. So yeah, yes. So hail. What do you, this is a good a good one. I already read that. What do you think about the future of Web three? Do you think most of the giant companies, Amazon, Meta, will join the Web three and crypto? I think they're really, they're really, they're really, they're really yeah, there they are, which is kind of doesn't really match the values of Web3, right? Because Web3 is kind of, is a bit of a is raging against the machine, um, taking the power back. Um, you know, companies like Google and Facebook have had a stronghold over us for so long by collecting our data. And now we're saying we want to be anonymous. Um, and at the same time, you've got banks that are now finding ways to use blockchain. Um, I mean, blockchain was designed for financial institutions, so it makes sense. Um, but, you know, it's only a matter of time before a uh, large bank sees a reason to, you know, build a Wells Fargo Bitcoin wallet, and they're probably already doing it, you know? So, um, yeah. Yes, I, I, I have a point of view on this, that I think this is like a, necessary evolution like also in the history of you know it's not a, sometimes there are some like you no know, one day revolution you know, the french revolution that, that's a one day revolution but this is like an exception usually the revolutions are, are slow so like people still have to understand how decentralization works in my opinion i want to say this even probably uh, somewhere in the future this will not age well but uh, 
it seems to me that at least we are going in the, in the right direction of the decentralization. You, you can't solve all the human problems in one day or in one week, but at least we are going in the direction. Of course, people who have all the data, all the money, all the power, of course, they'll have, they will be first class users of this decentralized world. But then there is another step. So at least we are going in this step of decentralization. I don't know if you agree with me, you can also disagree. Yeah, no, I, I think um, that's valid. And there was a comment before from somebody um, that it was just about how important it is to cut out the middleman. And I think that that's a really important point because it, it does help with merchants um, who are beholden to banks and they have to pay a certain transaction fee and they have to worry about chargebacks and their you know monthly revenue and all of these things. Uh, and when the money actually shows up, if you know somebody uh, from the U.S. goes over to Europe and uses their card, um, so and then Bitcoin or crypto um, can be used, you know, in an instant, and the money's there. Um, so reducing that middleman is really empowering for a lot of merchants. Um, and uh, I'm you know, that's the example that I can think of. I don't know. Are are there any examples that you can think of um, where removing the middleman? is has been beneficial thank you yeah. thank you the other room now other people here yeah. um even the fed and other central banks have already committed into crypto problem is that they want it to be exactly. under the, the problem yes it depends on the it's point of view for them, for them yeah. it's not a problem yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it's a, a problem to solve they're trying to solve this but uh but I think this is, I don't know, for me, this is like a necessary step. I, of course, this is something that will happen. But then there is another step, I think, after that. Let's see. I don't know. Yes. So, so Tracy, I don't know if we have uh, hit the, the central topic, which is like uh, the bad parts. So for example, I don't know, would you like to know, or rant or something? Or is there something that uh, you really don't like? Uh, so now we can really go full, uh, full criticizing. Like, I don't know, have you criticized, have we criticized that enough or not? Um, you know, I mean, I think there is, because Web3 is so broad, right? There's a ton of stuff that we haven't even touched on. I think uh, one of the biggest issues that we have to be cognizant of is that um, we haven't been able to really find a way to give access to those without wealth and power um, in a way that is new and efficient uh, or different from the Web2 way or how we've been previously doing it, right? So when you can perhaps get lucky by um, buying an NFT and having that project take off and then having that new asset and being able to, um, you know, pay off debt with it or just, you know, have more wealth. But it takes wealth to get in the door. Um, and we've also, I know we've discussed that there are some people trying to get into DAOs, having access to DAOs and doing work for it in almost in an unpaid internship type of way. And I'm not a fan of unpaid internships. Um, hopefully some of these jobs are offering tokens for it, but I could see how you could exploit labor uh, in that sense. And so we're left still with the idea of how do you, how do you give people access that don't have the means to get access? Um, and that's, you know, I haven't seen, how we're going to do that yet nice nice thank you no i have another by the way if you if you want to leave any any questions see the people are for um let's talk if you if you want the five minutes about nft projects there are so many nft projects that i think that if we start listing that i think i don't know we, we can keep, stay here for for two days uh, straight so how many NFT projects do do we need, and how how many, uh, which percentage do you think that will fail in the future? Because uh, I don't know. I think we will arrive at some point. I don't know. There will be, I don't know, like one million, two millions NFT projects, and probably I think that uh, most of them will uh, collapse. So, but so how many NFT projects do we really need? <laughs> I, I mean, I think that's like asking how much art do we really need, right? Um, so I don't think of it in that sense. Um, 
I, on the whole, I've seen a lot of good stuff, um, like with Ukraine friends, um, and all the other NFT projects that have started, um, to benefit, uh, Ukraine and help them in the situation that they're in, um, provide aid during the war. And, um, and there's also, you know, artists that are getting their foot in the door, um, getting recognized and getting paid for their work. So, um, I don't know how many is too many. I don't think there's, I don't, I don't think there's nice. a cap. No, 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 yes, no, no, I, 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 I like this perspective. And about NFT project, is there, is there something that maybe, I don't know, you don't like when you see an NFT project? Or do you think that basically everyone should, like, create what they, what they want? Is there something, even technical, from technical aspect that uh, maybe you, you, th you already know that that would be a good one? Or a bad one as so. well? Um, I don't think there is, you know, a particular NFT project that I don't like. Um, if there is people stealing art, I certainly wouldn't like that one. Um, I've, you know, seen that. Um, but yeah, I, I haven't seen anything that I think um, is upsetting or, yeah. Um, they certainly become clubs and the question becomes, are those clubs good for society and the places in which they operate? I don't know. Nice, nice. nice. Now, yes, so uh, always about uh, about the NFTs, uh, a troll, troll flux, uh, a captain. It, uh, is it said let because uh, I am a docker captain, of course, oh, yeah. not a military yeah. grade, yeah. <laughs> sadly for me. Um, no, do you? I, I, we know that there are some, uh, let's say, old uh, NFT projects which are like they literally skyrocketed, the CryptoPunks, uh, yeah. border. Do you think there could be something? Do, sorry, do you think there could be something in the future of maybe upcoming NFT projects we can really uh, explode? Or maybe if you know some of maybe new uh, NFT projects, maybe they're going well or very bad. Yeah. Or very badly. I don't, let's see, I don't know. Do we hear about the ones that are doing really badly? I don't, those aren't coming across my timeline. Um, I've seen, I, I mean, I think Crypto Coven is going to continue to explode um, and uh, increase in value. Um, there's, oh, I wish I had, I know there's, I think Fame Ladies is another one. Um, I'm obviously deep in the, the women's oriented NFT world. Um, but yeah, I, so those I think are going to continue to rise in value, but, um, yeah, the issue is if you didn't get your foot in the door early enough, um, you can't really afford one now. Yes. And maybe we can talk about maybe bad use cases for NFTs, but just for one second, just me to say that here, I agree. Yeah, that is that I, true. They did do that. Yeah. I, this is, for example, my favorite use case uh, for NFT that, uh, for example, I've done a little experiment. Uh, a how are you? Another hey, professor, don't feel him. Great YouTuber. Uh, for example, I minted, I minted my, my first NFT in a live stream. I minted the, the thumbnail of the live stream during the during the live stream. It was very a very meta, meta live stream. And then I sold that uh, during the live stream. And the person who would have won that uh, would have won like a call with me and maybe put their project uh, in the live stream as a link. I don't know. I, I tried a, a little experiment and it worked. So someone yeah. bought that. Uh, in, during the live stream so it was uh interesting. it was interesting it yeah. was uh, very interesting yeah and yes um, so, mm -hmm. yeah yeah so um, i think that we okay so if there is any, any question you can you can drop them of course and uh, i don't know maybe we can start uh, to to wrap this up and uh, do you have maybe some final thoughts because uh, i don't know i made so many um uh, good say uh, twitter spaces about you know how you should learn that uh, uh how can it really change your life so i, I said everything i think good uh, people start people start also recommending me like to follow me on twitter for all three stuff so i'm super super flattered to be honest but uh, what do you think that maybe is something that maybe can be improved so let's try to be as critical as possible if you if you can do your best or your or your or your worst <laughs> As critical as possible of Web3. Yeah. Uh, I think if 
you know, companies, if Web3 companies that are becoming prominent don't start to think diversity first, we're just going to find ourselves in the same place that we are in Web2. And I see that happening rapidly. I see all of these top Web3 companies, um, uh, startups to larger ones, just repeating history. Um, and very few are taking into account that diversity is important um, across across the board, you know, gender, race, um, as, you know, there's a lot of different ways to diversify and I don't see a push towards it. And I would hate to get two years down the road where we're in the same place um, and we have one type of person creating all of these things. And we said we wanted to create a better world. We cannot create a better world without having the diverse voices to talk about their experiences and what's actually going on in the world. Um, so that, um, I think, you know, the points that I've touched on with not giving access um, or not finding ways to give access to people that don't already have wealth or power or clout um, is something that we have to consider because we are, again, trying to improve the space, but we're, are we only improving it for the people that are already belong here? Um, and yeah, and, and again, with um, having new technologies, um, are we being safe? Are we being as safe as we should be um, when we're developing new things um, that are where people are storing their money, right? Where people are putting their money, are we being safe or are we just playing around with new technology and not adding enough tests and not being on the ball with um, pushing fixes to ensure that, you know, people don't get screwed out of their money. Um, so those are some issues. <laughs> Nice. This was this was great. I'll watch this again at the end of the at the end of the last stream for sure. And I think this is the proof that yes, so we are evolving with three blockchain, but there is all still so much work to do yeah. on the on the hum, on the human side. Mm -hmm. Sadly, I don't know. It's uh, yes. So yeah, people are, people are suggesting me to make some NFT projects with all my awesome Italian <laughs> gestures because yeah. I, I I collected some pictures of just myself, but to be honest, that was just for some thumbnails. Uh, people who want an NFT collection. I don't know when I'll find time. I'll, I'll try that. That 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 probably will be the uh, very bad part uh, of Web three. So we are also <laughs> in theme. <laughs> I would be the buyer. I would be the first buyer. <laughs> there we go. There we go. It's also recorded. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is crazy. This is crazy. By the way, Tracy, this has been um, has been amazing. Also, see you. Uh, let's see, almost in, in person. I don't know if we will meet one day because, uh, and for example, I'm starting to go, going to many uh, Ethereum uh, events. Yeah. I don't know. Have you been uh, in Denver? Or not. Um, I did not go to East Denver mostly because of my job search. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, but, but for example, I'll be in uh, Ethereum Amsterdam now on the, the end of April. We'll meet also some Web3 people. I'm having FOMO for Ethereum Dubai, but that, that's okay. I don't want to talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. But there is a list. So I don't know. Well, there is, there, there is um, a chance. In New York. New York is, I think oh. that's in June. Oh. Maybe I don't know. I don't know because I have also a, a speaker in one or, or two conferences in June, but uh, I'll try. Uh, Maybe I'll that's be... when you can launch your NFT collection. We are looking for. I have to. I have to find. I have to find the time. But uh, yeah. I'm, I'm working. I'm working on this. Let's uh, yeah. let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. The more people. The more people uh, will keep pushing on this. One day I'll wake up and uh, say, okay, so let's do it. So uh, yeah. I I am that close. No, maybe that close. I'm not not that close yet. But uh, yes. Okay. Yes, Tracy. So um, thank you so much. Thank you also for for being trying to try or well, say to, to be very critic because uh, I just want also to remember that I don't know some nobody like is paying me like under the table like Francesco said this so it's more like us like trying to understand this is what I'm trying to do daily yeah. Yeah. The, the the thing maybe now is maybe different uh, 
since you know, some years ago we had no online, pre on online presence, I was just studying by myself. Since now I have also social media presence, I also share what I learn every day. I try to check, uh, double check, triple check now that I have more, <laughs> more followers because I try to do, don't say uh, dumb things. And uh, and yes, so so that's it. So Tracy, when the last question is uh, when will we do the next the space together? This is the last question. Maybe, maybe well, uh, let's do it in a month. Let's do it in a month, we'll, we'll do it. We'll recap. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So maybe, okay, so maybe uh, let's say after maybe after Ethereum Amsterdam. Let's say maybe or maybe yeah. we'll do this. Uh, in the hotel, I don't know. I've never done a Twitter space in a hotel. Probably I should start. Yeah. <laughs> I've never done a live stream like outside. People think that I just like a living form <laughs> in the in the house. No, sometimes I make some videos, but I've never done a live stream out of this house. Maybe yeah. Web three and running. I, I start to, <laughs> should start something like that because uh, okay. that's yeah. it. Yes. Tracy, thank you so much. Finally, we did this this uh, this because we have been trying this for a while, and I'm yeah. super happy that we finally did that. And yes, of course, uh, let me let me find just find super fast uh, her. But I'm sure I'm sure that many of you uh, are already following her. Um, but let me just uh, just drop it uh, so we have this. Uh, and yes, so be sure to to follow her, of course. Uh, and yes. If you also like Twitter Spaces, and if you want, or if you don't like Web3, we're also always open yeah. to talk. And uh, and yes, let's see. Perfect. Okay, we are done. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. And see, Thank you. See you next time. Bye, bye.